Do you feel full but unfulfilled? Is your mind filled with love, or is there not enough space for love to come in? Is your heart filled with love, or is there not enough space for love to come in? If there's not enough space, you need to make space for love to come in. Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Ari. On this episode, make space for love to come in. Most of us are too full. We're too full with garbage. We're full with fear, doubt, anger, and hate. We're full with these negative emotions, thoughts, and feelings, and these are clogging us up. And as I'll talk about later, these are stopping, blocking the flow of love. If you don't make space for love to come in, well, it will always keep trying to come in, but you need to make space for it. If you don't make space for love to come in, it'll be knocking at the door, but it won't be able to come in because your house is too full. Show love that it is welcome in your mind, in your body, in your home, in your house. You are love. You are infinite love. That is what you are. And when love comes knocking, when it's trying to enter, that is really just you trying to enter and you're not letting yourself in because you're too full. Maybe you don't think you even want love. Maybe you trusted in love and it betrayed you or you felt that it betrayed you, but Love's natural state is endlessly flowing in and out, sharing itself unconditionally with all the entire universe, with everyone and everything. We often block this flow unconsciously. We often block the flow of love, the natural flow, the natural state of the universe. We block the outer flow, the love flowing from us to other people into the universe, one, by choosing who to share love with, we block this outer flow by judging others. Again, we're withholding love from them because we're judging them. And we block this outer flow by putting conditions on this love. By putting conditions on how to share this love, we're not sharing it freely. And this is how we block this outer flow. So one way we can unblock the flow from us to other people is to stop judging others, to stop judging ourselves Stop choosing who to share love with, whether we're deeming them worthy or not. Everybody is worthy of receiving love. Every single person, every single animal, every single event, everything. And it might not seem that way from looking from a shorter view, but when you're looking from a broader view, from a higher up vantage point, it will all start to make sense. That's really all I can say. Not really all I can say, but the only way I can describe it at my current state of just teaching and describing and conversely, we often block the inner flow of love, the love coming from the outer world into our heart center. We block this inner flow by one, thinking that we're not worthy of this love. We don't receive it because we don't think that we're worthy and we put this kind of dam, we put this blockage on our heart that stops the love from flowing in. We also block this inner flow of love from coming in with limiting beliefs. We block it by thinking that we're full, thinking that there's no space for it to come in so we don't let it come in. We block this inner flow ultimately by not making space for it. So how can we make space for love to come in? Think about if you're living at your house and you have somebody coming to visit. You're going to make space for them. You're going to make a bed for them. Maybe if you don't have an extra bed, you make a couch for them. You're going to make a living area for them. You're going to clean some stuff out. So we're going to have to clean our own houses. This is something that I talked about in my book, Heaven is Forever. We have to start to clean our house clean my house. First, we must face these negative emotions, these negative thoughts and limiting beliefs by facing them, showing them love, showing them compassion, understanding them, and then ultimately facing them and letting them go. These things keep love on the outside and these things block the natural flow of love. Ultimately, just facing them and letting them go, whether it's through meditation or other techniques, is easier said than done but very powerful and very effective for my experience. And that's all I can really speak from is my experience. And I know that I used to not make space for love to come in, but now that I do, it starts to come in and I start to be able to share it more and more and more. And I start to feel the natural flow, the effortless flow that really is love, that really is life. And it truly is magical. <laughs>